Tell everyone your name, age, and what you do for a living. My name is Cassandra. I am 36 years old and I am a branch manager and I work in court administration. Awesome. Awesome. And what's your current relationship status? I'm single. Okay. Do you have children? No. Do you want children in the future? I do. Okay. Why did your last relationship end? I think that we were not on the same page. Um, we wanted different things. And ultimately, we kind of just we grew apart. We were together for three years. And I was ready to be married. He didn't want to be married. Or if he did, we would have been married. Um, and ultimately, I actually think it was probably for the best. I just think that, you know, sometimes when you're with somebody for a long time, you want to make things work just because of the time that you put in. But it's not necessarily the best situation for you. So I would say, yeah, we, we grew apart. Mm -hmm. So what's a deal breaker for you? Um, cheating is a deal breaker. But aside from that, um, I think someone who is inconsiderate and not um, inconsiderate in the sense that we have our ways that we like to do things. We have things that we like, but like some you not like that is not someone who's not movable. Like the, just it's their way or the highway. I think that is a significant deal breaker for me because I try to be flexible where I can. And I would, I need that in a partner. I need somebody who is going to be flexible with me too. Um, and is can be objective and kind of see things from both sides. So that's really, really important to me. Um, another deal breaker would be someone who's not a Christian because I'm a Christian and I would want to have a relationship with those foundations and values. Mm -hmm. I understand that. How do you handle difficult situations? Well, it depends on what the situation is. Um, I'm really big on communication, um, but one of my big things for me as I communicate with others and I would like people to communicate with me is to understand like the appropriateness of communication. So like sometimes when you're upset, it's not the best time to address something. I'm really big on that. And so I'm, I'm really about open communication. I think it just depends on the person because People have different communication styles, but for me, I'm pretty, I'm pretty open and I'm pretty direct and blunt. So that's my, you know, I would say that's how I deal with conflict. I like to, I like to address things head on, head on, you know, but also taking into account the appropriateness of like the timing and, you know, of the situation. So, so you, you, you more of the type, like, let's deal with this now. We just fell out. Let's. And like I said, it depends on the situation. Like if we're out and say we're out with friends or we're out with family and something happened that I didn't like, I'm not going to say anything while we're there. I'm probably not even going to give you give off that I'm upset. Right. I think that's a conversation for us to have at, a, at an appropriate time. And depending on what it is, it, it could be a conversation in the car. It might be a conversation when we get home. It just depends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand. I respect that. So why do you want to be married? I think that I'm ready. It's funny because I wanted to be married before, but I don't really think that I was ready. I think now that I've taken the time to really work on myself and I really understand myself and understand things that trigger me or, you know, um, I, I understand how I receive things better. So I feel like I can relate to others in, in, in a more healthy way. And um, that's why I would say that I'm ready. I've, I've lived with someone before. And, you know, a lot of people don't think that's a big deal. But I think that when you've lived with another adult in relationship, you really learn to choose your battles. You learn how to compromise. And so I think that in this at this time of my life, I'm in the best position. I'm also I'm 36. I've done all my fun stuff, you know, like. I'm in a place in my life also where if I never get to go out again or if I, you know, I can do those things. You know, I've traveled. I've done a lot of things on my own. And also I'm happy. I'm happy and I'm fulfilled in my life. So I'm not looking for someone to fill a void more so as I'm just looking to have a partner and a companion to do life with. Mm -hmm. 
Love it. Okay, so let's get a little deeper. I have three questions. Let's go. Okay. When you when you were scared, sad, angry, or overwhelmed, who, if anyone, did you go to for comfort as a child? Um, I have. I'm afraid to say this. I have a favorite aunt, <laughs> um, who she is. Um, she's my mom's youngest sister, and we're actually probably we're not super close in age. But I, for a long time, thought she wasn't even an adult. So I would lean on her a lot. When I was scared, she was just the person that I felt like understood me the most, was the most patient. You know, I never felt afraid to tell. There was nothing I was afraid to tell her, even things that I may have been afraid to tell my mom or share with other people. She just never made me feel judged. She always made me feel heard and, and listened to. So my auntie, she would know she would know who she is, but I'm not I'm not going to I'm not messing up Thanksgiving. <laughs> I hear you. Are you a saver or a spender? <laughs> I'm both. Um, I'm both. If I am working towards a goal, then I can save towards that goal. I can be disciplined towards working towards that goal. But I also am a believer in that I work very hard and you have to carve out. I guess I am a saver all in all because even the money that I spend, it's money that I thought about. Like, I know I want to do this thing, you know, whatever. So, I, but I would say I'm, I'm a bit of both, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to pretend like, you know, I saw something, I wanted it and I, you know, I went straight for it. But when you're single, you can do things like that because you're not going to make, you don't have to make considerations for anybody else. So. Very true. I agree about that. <laughs> Last question. What did you learn about relationships from watching your caregivers? Wow. Um, I learned a lot about um, roles in relationships and how those aren't real. Um, there were periods of time where my mother was a breadwinner. There were periods of time when my dad was a breadwinner. Um, but what I saw them both model as parents were was just how they have to work together right and it's always working together but how our family kind of like what's best for our family and having like um a global vision in terms of decision making that they were making whether it was my dad wanted to go to school for something or my mom wanted to take time off the focus is always like the impact on the family it was one thing i can say that i saw was that they were very selfless in terms of it wasn't always it wasn't about what i want it's like what's best for everyone and i think that's really important i think that when you're in a relationship that's a really big thing right and also seeing your spouse or your partner's wins as your wins too because you're the person who has to support them while they're doing whatever it is whether it's going to school or whether it's starting a business you you that's where that team um kind of thing comes into place and i i will say that I, that's what i saw now my parents aren't together anymore however when in practice they did that very well and they also kept children out of adults business which is another thing that um I really appreciated um, being a child. Like I didn't need to, I wasn't involved in all the, all the relationship things. Their relationship was theirs. And when they got divorced, it allowed me to foster my own relationship with my parents outside of whatever their personal situation was. Mm, that's good. That's good. Well, obviously the DM is open, right? Yes. I, yes. I guess I got to answer them now, huh? <laughs> yeah. Now, I cuz I want everyone to know basically how they can get in touch with you uh, via social media. Yeah, so they can get in touch with me on Twitter. My handle is Olivia Nope. Um yeah, that's the best way to <laughs> to reach me. Okay, for sure. Well, you heard it here everyone, so uh slide on a dm i believe that you know you can you can find love anywhere you you never know i mean i met my wife on instagram so anything is possible right so thanks again cassandra for your time and uh i look forward Thank to hearing you. for sure I look forward to hearing to hearing uh, one of your success stories <laughs> okay <laughs>